Hey kids, Carl here. So uh, everyone's been bothering me about making a real video, so I thought I'd make a real video to show you guys I still know how to do them. No, seriously, all things aside, I'm doing this video to show you my generator. Because some folks had, some, had asked some questions about my generator, so I wanted to show you how my generator works. But first, I'm going to start inside here with the app. Now you can download uh, for free on your iPhone the Ryobi Gen Control app. You can probably hear my generator running in the background. And this is the display that the app shows. So you can see in here, it tells me how much fuel I have left, what my running time is that I have left. It also shows me how much of a load I'm putting on my system right now. I can stop the engine here, I can control the power there. When I say I can control the power, I can, uh, well, I'll show you. I can put it in auto off. So I hit that button there and then, and then I hit here and it slows it down. Well, there, see that? You hear it slow down and now it speeds back up. There it slows down. So what the, what the generator is sensing right now is how much of a load I'm putting on the system. I'm only charging an iPad and running my refrigeration right now. So it dropped way down. So if we go back to the other page, you'll see that I'm hardly using any juice whatsoever right now. And it also really dramatically increased the run time because it's traveling at a lower RPM. Now on some devices, like my refrigeration, it's probably not a good idea to run at a low RPM because when the compressor kicks in on my refrigeration, I want it to have the availability of full power. So when I'm running refrigeration or some devices like that, I let it run at full capacity at all times. I also have the ability of sitting here in the cockpit and being able to uh, hit the red kill button here. I can hit that, it'll bring up another screen. I press and hold and it'll actually shut down the generator. So I think that's pretty awesome. The generator only holds about a gallon of fuel and it's been running now for, what time is it? 9.50, I started at about 7.30. Uh, so I run it while I'm doing my internet stuff in the morning. Uh, and so it's, it's burned, you know, one little box. I think it was like at 10 and a half or 11 hours, something like that is what the runtime was. And mind you, I'm at full tilt right now. So if I kick it on to, if I kick on the auto and let it run at the slower speed, even though it's been running now for a couple of hours already, my run time is 10 hours and 56 minutes. So it would have been like 13, 14 with a full tank. So I like the remote because the generator can sit out in the cockpit doing its thing. I could be down in here I could be laying up in the v bird sleeping or whatever. I can shut the generator off from here. I can't start it from here, but I can shut it down without having to go outside. So I really kind of like that. Okay, so with that said, let us go look at the actual generator, shall we? Okay, so here's what the generator looks like from the cockpit. And as you can see, we have a lot of the same controls that we have uh, on the phone here. You see you got the same gauge here for how much fuel is consuming. This shows us how much power we're actually using. This tells us how much time we have remaining on it. And it shows currently that it is in the uh, off position as far as the idle is concerned. I've got two 20 amp plugins plus two USB ports that I can plug into. It has a parallel kit, so you can hook up two of these Ryobi side by side for even more power. It's got an overload reset button and a circuit breaker right here on this side. And again, I can control the auto idle, idle right from there. Okay, let's go ahead top side and look at the rest of it. Okay. Why don't we go ahead and shut it off. There it is shut down. So here you've got your on off, run start, cold start, which is your choke, and then your pull start on this side of it. Gas can, the fuel fill is up here. 
it's got this little reservoir that contains it. It only spills out the back. So it'll only spill fuel out that direction. We looked at this front area here. USB connections, two 20 amp plugs, the parallel kit. You can see here we have the parallel kit in the front. It shows you how much load we've had. You can push, you have to push this button right here in order to pair this with your cell phone for the app. It has a handle in the front, weatherproof closing right here. It has a handle that sticks out. And what that enables me to do is to roll this thing down the dock conveniently like that. Can you see that? So here you see it's 2300 watts, 1800 watts running time, 2300 watts starting time. You've got the pull cord here. You've got the control to turn it on and off, to run it, and then to turn it all the way up to cold start it. And there's little, little instructions there. There's Bluetooth wireless technology that enables it to match up and pair with, the, uh, with my iPhone so I can control the generator from inside the boat. Now I have mine secured onto the deck so it doesn't go anywhere. You have handles on both sides so that you can, uh, you got a handle here and a handle there so you can grab it and pick it up. This is the exhaust side of it. Exhaust out comes out pretty nice and high. Seems like that works just fine. Again, this is the control system here in the front. You've got two 20 amp breakers. You've got two USB, 2.1 amp USB plugs. You've got the generator control screen, which shows you all the diagnostics. Circuit breaker, overload circuit, neutral ground uh, and a parallel kit if you want to pair two of these generators up together you can pair up two of them together that just closes up like that and she's weather tight okay here's the other side now this is the access to the engine <laughs> miss lily's just getting in everything here's the access to the engine we simply unthread this you got to thread it a lot Maybe I'll go to high speed in this section, so you don't have to sit here and wait for me to turn this a bazillion times. It seems like that's what this takes, is a bazillion times. And we pop it off. There we go. All right, so it's insulated for sound deadening. You see that? <clears throat> Here's your oil check and oil fill. Your carburetor access. Pretty simple, pretty cut and dry. It runs on just standard gasoline, no oil mix, just standard fuel. Get that in there like that. And that goes there, those pop in, and we thread it back in. And that's what it looks like. Okay, so I hope you're enjoying my little intro here on my Ryobi generator. Um, there's some of the things about it that I wanted to comment on. It runs when it's in the, uh, uh, not on the high speed mode, when it's in the reserve mode, and it's only pumping out what juice it needs for the load on it, which is fine for like charging your iPads and cell phones and that kind of stuff. Um, it really runs very quietly. In fact, when I've got the hatch closed up here, uh, I can hardly hear it up on deck. Uh, it's not at all obtrusive in any way. Now, under full RPM, it gets a bit louder, but it's a whole lot quieter than the, than the Honda that I used to own. I used to have one of those Honda 2000s uh, that seem to be so prevalent nowadays. And this Ryobi is marketably quieter than my Honda, uh, and it's $600 versus $1,000 for the Honda, so the price point was there. I really like the uh, ability to be able to control it with my cell phone. Uh, to me, that's a distinct advantage in that I don't have to get up and down and go up into the cockpit to shut it off uh, or to monitor its condition. Uh, I've been using it only a few days now. Uh, it has performed flawlessly. 
Um, my refrigeration has been working. It's keeping the ice box chilled. I run it for a couple hours in the morning while I'm on the internet doing my stuff and I'll run it for a couple hours in the evening and that should be enough to keep the uh, refrigeration on the boat going and keep all my devices powered and allow me to work and, and do this stuff. The only other time I'm going to be running the generator uh, is, uh, as I'm going to be here in a moment, uh, I'm going to be editing this video and I'll have to have the power for that. Um, until such time as I get my alternator fixed for my house batteries and then I'll be able to work off of an inverter for, from that as well and or the generator so I'll give me some options. Now it's powering everything on the boat and I it's working out very well. Today I actually fired up my toaster and made myself a toasted bagel and uh, the heat, I was concerned about the heating element because I was running the refrigeration and running the toaster at the same time and had my charging station over here going where I was charging all my electronics um, and so the generator, you know, where it was only showing like one block, it's like, I think it's got 10 or 12 blocks, it was only showing one block of load on it. As soon as I uh, put the bagel down to toast the bagel, it jumped all the way up to the halfway point, which means I was still only pulling about a thousand watts, even though I was running a toaster, and it's powering up to 2300. Now I've done some research on some specs. I could actually get a marine grade air conditioning unit that will drop down through my forward hatch uh, and it will power that air conditioning unit. Um, it would power a small um, washer dryer on the boat. Um, it would power a water maker on the boat. So there's a lot of different uh, things I could add to the boat now that my little tiny, you know, Ryobi $600 generator is going to power. So I think it's a it's a really good value in a very small package. It's quiet. Um, I don't see any negatives to it at all right now. Uh, it's burning fuel at a very acceptable rate in my mind's eye. So I would certainly recommend it if you're thinking about buying a generator for your boat. I really like my little Ryobi. So hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like and subscribe. We'll have more for you later. Thanks, kids.